Welcome back, everybody, to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We left off last time inside of the town here. In fact, we cleared off three of these houses, parked the solar car nearby. This episode is going to be all about clearing some zombies out, just trying to get our combat skill up, waiting till nighttime comes so we can hopefully rest and heal up some more. And then keep working our way into town. I'd like to get to the electronic store. Sometimes there's some really good items there. Obviously, I mentioned in the past, the antique store can have some really rare items as well. So that's sometimes worth hitting. But we're going to kind of make our way towards this intersection. And basically just clearing out whatever zombies we can. There's, there's a couple of them up here. Now, I've turned safe mode off, so I'm going to have to be mindful of my surroundings. Because, like, as you can see, there's a pretty good amount of zombies in the area. But we're not really close enough to any of them yet. And I can pull one or two at a time and be okay. I just don't want to pull a lot of them. I'm going to go over here and try and pull this zombie. And a lot of the times I try to pull the zombies to the cars because they struggle to get over the seats normally. And that buys me... Usually enough time to kill them before they can even get a hit in. Okay. The Migo's right there. Okay, he's coming this way. Yeah, he's coming right this way. Oh my god. I can't believe he actually saw me, but he did. We are not going anywhere in that direction from here on forward. At this point, I only want to head deeper into the town. I might move the solar car over to here and park it at the end of this roundabout, or at least have it over here. I also dropped my military rucksack in front of that ambulance there. I need to remember that. Okay, I'm going to get inside the solar car. If the Migo comes, I can actually outrun him in the solar car. I could lead him away and then try and run him over. It's still super risky. They are no joke if they end up catching you. What's uh what's going on here? Okay. Do I wanna I probably wanna lead them away. Like I said, super risky if we do this, but if I if I don't take him out now, he's just going to be a problem later. I'm just looking to see where he is exactly. Okay, right there he is. Okay, he's coming. This is super risky, by the way. I'm going to show you guys how dangerous Migos are. I mean, if I end up running them over, obviously I won't necessarily be showing you exactly how dangerous they are, but that's if we run them over and manage to kill them. There's a very real possibility that he doesn't die and he ends up in the vehicle and he kills us. So this is way riskier. I could have probably have just ignored him, but I'm going to be honest with you. He's, uh... He's probably going to eventually find us, and I'd rather catch him in the solar car than out of it. Now, he's not super fast. Usually, they're a lot faster. At speed 8 in a vehicle, I'm used to them actually being able to catch up to me. But... He doesn't seem all that interested. Okay, I want to get him in the open where I can get a really good speed going. Okay, he's right on us. Now I'm going to put a little bit of distance between us. And then I'm going to turn around. We need to hit him at a really good speed enough that he ends up underneath the tires and is killed. Here we go. Going to dodge these rocks here real quick. We're going to line up. He should end up running right into us. I'm going to speed up to speed like probably 50. God, I hope he doesn't end up in the vehicle. Okay. 
Okay, believe it or not, that's a testament to how strong Migos are. Even at speed 50, I did not kill him. He survived that. He's got to be gravely injured. Because he's not... Oh, he's coming right for us again. Oh my god, even at speed 20, he's just unbelievably fast. Okay. We're going back in for another kill. Okay, another another hit at 40. We got him. And we're going to slow down here cuz I'm going to pulp him even though I don't have to pulp amigos. I'm going to go out and smash him right now. Now, whew, we, um, the car took a beating. So we're going to need to start getting our mechanic skill up so we can deal with that. Okay, I can't actually smash him. I can butcher him. You do a full butchery, it would kind of raise our skill, I think. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, well, I can do a quick butcher. Chunks of tainted meat, tainted fats. Alright. Okay, so the Migo's dead. Yeah, they're they're no joke. I hit him with that car that that hard and it still took a second uh, a second round to get him. Alright, let's take the car. Let's park it someplace. Um park it someplace safe for now. And we will head into town again. This time, oop, this time luckily should be me go free. And we can start clearing our way towards the electronic store and wherever else we got to go. I feel a lot better with that me go gone though, guys. I got to tell you, I feel a lot better. All right, we'll keep the vehicle right here for now. It's a safe spot. Turn safe mode off again. Hopefully I don't run anything too dangerous. I'm going to take the military rucksack and leave it uh, by the solar car. So that way I don't forget to equip it. Let's uh, do a little bit of zombie hunting. Actually, before we do that, let's get our focus up. Well, do I need focus? I don't think I do. Um, can we fight him in? I think we're pretty good, actually. I probably don't need to get my focus up. Um, I could put some music on. That would put. Let's go ahead and just put my music on. And our focus up. It'll keep our mood nice and high. And we can slaughter zombies to the sound of some good tunes. Now this is a small dump. Sometimes there can be some decent items in a dump. In this instance though, there might not be. Liverlicious recipes your kids will love. That sounds terrible. CRC Merc Handbook. Okay, so that seems like there's nothing in the dump we want. A lot of zombies over here. None of them have spotted me, surprisingly enough. Let's get the fat zombie to break through the window here. Because I can use this bus. Once it's cleared. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we got two zombies. All right, we're going to bring them down to... Wow, they're catching up. Down to the ambulance. That's where we'll fight them. Oh, came right up to the door. Both of them did. Okay, I don't know if I could fight both of them. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, nice. Nice. 
Okay, Wood Axe is actually doing wonders for us right, right now. All right, just a battery, which I could take. I'll smash the corpses. Let's head back up. Are we listening to music or not? We haven't heard a single song yet. Oh, I could smash that window, but we'd be in trouble if I did. See if I can get the crawling. Nope, I pulled the uh, SWAT zombie. Okay. Okay, they're both hung up on the bus. Let's... Uh, is that a SWAT zombie? No, it's just a zombie cop. Okay, not, not as bad. Okay. SWAT zombies tend to have armor on them. They're a little bit beefier for fighting. And I'll probably search the cop zombie if he's got something that might be nice. We might wash it. A Kevlar vest. We will wash that. We will wear that. Expandable baton. Yeah, the Kevlar vest. That was... Goddamn. That was a hell of a find. That was a hell of a find. Um. Okay. Yeah, we're going to clean that up. We're going to find some water and clean that up. All right, I'm going to get rid of the fat zombie quick. Oh, got me good. Got me good. But I got you back. How are we? We're all right, though. Focus is a little low. Okay, I'm going to smash him and grab that Kevlar vest. We'll wear it. Gonna hurt us a little bit, but we're gonna come down and drop it again. So it won't hurt us that much. And we're going to wear the military rucksack. I think I've got the washboard and detergent in here. Plus a bunch of other stuff that I need to keep in mind. Oh, I've already got a soldering iron. I don't know what made me think I needed a soldering iron. We'll take the batteries out of it, though. Got a bunch of duct tape, bunch of solder. I could drop more solder. Oh, plus that book. Taking up space. Duelist Annual. Piercing weapon skill of one. <sighs> Do I not need that? Because it says... How is my skills looking so far? Piercing is up to one. Bashing. Cutting weapons is up to three. That's why I'm doing so good. Alright, we'll get rid of that. In the washing kit. And the detergent. Now I just gotta find some water. And there's probably some down here in the forest, so let's head down there. Right down there, I see it. Hopefully we don't run into a moose or a bear or something. Looks like we're good. I didn't bring the Kevlar vest with me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, we're going back. right there yeah so the Kevlar vest is a really really good find and we can probably repair it now it usually takes Kevlar to repair it but there might be we'll take a look and see anyways because if we can that would be absolutely awesome and we're listening to a little bit of music and we wash the Kevlar vest so now we're wearing that and in terms of encumbrance, we could probably drop the football armor now. So that definitely helps. That definitely helps. 
Now I do want to, let's see, did I have rags in this building or any of these buildings? If I don't, I can. Let me take a look. Let me do this actually. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let's go ahead and butcher all of this. All right, we got some felt patches and some rags. Let's see if we can repair anything. So you need layered Kevlar panels. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out where I can find that. Can't do the compression top and I know the military rucksack. I don't even have enough rags. Wow, it takes 21. Okay, so we'll be leaving all of that alone for now. But yeah, the Kevlar vest definitely gonna help us, especially once I drop this. Uh, military rucksack, you'll see. We're going to be in a lot better spot. Okay, speed's pretty good. Everything's still pretty good. Um, we haven't searched anything yet. The dump, though, we know there's nothing there. Some houses. Okay, the electronics store is down the road. Now, there's a pretty good amount of zombies here, including a child zombie coming this way. Let's pull you up to the vehicle. I'd love to be able to get you to break through a window. But these windows or the bus in general. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, that was close. I almost got hit there. But there we go. All right. Okay, there's four zombies there. If I pull them... Big chance I'll pull them all at once. We do have an abandoned house here with a fence down. Let's take a look at this real quick. Sometimes these houses have good stuff, believe it or not. Even though they're abandoned. All the furniture's piled up. There's a corpse in here. Oh my god, that's a zombie dog that just followed me in. Okay, got him. He got a hit on me, but not much. Human corpse. A Remington 870 Wingmaster uh, Shotgun Hall. An empty hall from Shotgun Show. So, Remington 870. Believe it or not, I actually own one of these in real life. Um... One of the most popular shotguns on the market, and that's why. <laughs> and finds use with hunters and law enforcement agencies alike thanks to its high accuracy and muzzle velocity. This one is a 28-inch barrel model for hunting fowl and game. Okay, so we actually found a shotgun, and it's got some shot. It's got two rounds, and it can hold five. Um, I might take that. I might craft a sling to take it. I don't have my backpack with me. I can't really carry it. Uh, so that could be that could be tricky. Let's see what else. Ceramic shard. Um, a couple of things in here. Lemon lime soda. I'm going to let most of this stuff pass. There is a trap by the door. Um, so the person that was living here did try to survive. He's got a pet carrier. Some marbles. What's a transistor? Sometimes there's some good stuff in these houses. Somebody did try to survive. The nice thing about these houses sometimes too is they're great to hold up in because they're already barricaded. It's already got a trap. Let's see what's in the basement. A sewer rat. Okay. What else? Just the sewer rat. He's going to try to attack me. Believe it or not, they're like super difficult to hit because they're so small. Hence me swinging like a maniac there, but we did get him. Pet carrier. All right, so the Remington, the Remington. Um, it does require me crafting a sling and probably a shotgun sling. Is that a thing? There's a rifle bandolier, wrist bandolier for holding rifle cartridges. Um. Hmm. Never keeping rifle cartridges close to hand. So this might not work still.
Um, boy, I would like to do the axe ring holster. One bone glue. So I've got duct tape, leather patches, scrap metal, nails. I could get all of that. I might do that. I'm not going to do it now, but I might do it. What is this? Okay. All right, so that's that house there. The shotgun, boy, I got to tell you. As much as I want to grab it for emergency situations, I just don't think it's a priority. Let me check one more thing. Mods. The shoulder strap. I've tried to make this before. I've got the rags. I can make it again. I can grab the shoulder strap. I can wear it. I can try and drop the wood axe, use the Remington to attach the shoulder, shoulder strap and see if it works. Still no gun to modify. I've had no luck with this, guys. I've had no luck with this. So, unfortunately, the shotgun and the shoulder strap are going to have to... I, I don't understand why I can't... Don't have any guns to modify. All right. I don't know. I'll have to mess with that some more, I guess. Maybe I'll update my version of Cataclysm. I do have an older version. I could always update it and see if that helps. Okay, I know there's going to be some zombies up here. Couple zombies. I don't want to pull all four of them. That house there is pretty beat up. I only want to pull a couple. Okay, I managed to pull one somehow. The decayed zombie. Okay. Here he comes. He's going to move a little slower across the bushes. And we got him. Okay, next I pulled two more. These ones I'll bring to the bus. They're going to come right for this window. Perfect. Perfect. I love when a plan comes together. And cutting is now up to 313, okay? Melee's going up, dodging's about to level up. That'll be good. Okay, there's a group of three here, some crawling. Okay, so, so far, really no special zombies. Just a lot of weaker zombies. It's making me very happy. Because that makes life a lot easier. That zombie got caught up in that solar car there. Or some type of hybrid car. It's got solar panels. Okay, fat zombies do sometimes give us a run for our money. So let's... Although they never seem to be able to break the windows. There. Every now and again they need some help. Nice. I don't know if I can get caught on those windshields, actually. The vehicle windshields, I've never... Tried. Perfect. Now, I'm probably being overly cautious the way I'm clearing these out, but I gotta tell you guys, just when you think you're getting really good and your character's, like, kicking ass, you'll get overrun. The game has a way of punishing people who allow themselves to get cocky. Let's... Oh, damn, damn, damn. See, just like that. It's all right, though. We can make it work. We can use this vehicle to at least disperse them some. Still hoping to get them one at a time here through this opening. Okay. I love when I get that knockback because it buys me a little bit of time because they have to move back through to me. Excellent. 
See, that's the kind of stuff that can happen, though. That's why you got to be careful. First aid kit. No, don't have the room. All right, the brainless zombie. Very easy. I can knock him out. Still just a crawling zombie up here. Who's going to head this way? And we're almost to the electric store. Ah, oh my God. And here we are. I oh, actually made it. And it's unlocked. What a joy. All right. What do we got? Always some really good stuff. A vacuum sealer with five thousand pl charge in it a medium plutonium fuel battery we've got a water purifier this is a battery powered device designed to purify drinking water that is awesome we've got tons of batteries we can use that we might even be able to put the vacuum sealed oh my god a mess kit ha huh, this is awesome okay so i probably won't use um i don't think i'll use the food dehydrator at all i just don't think food's gonna be an issue the mess kit self-contained camping mess kit containing everything you might need for wilderness cooking this model relies on a battery operated hot plate rather than the more commonplace chemical fueled ispit stove okay so some stuff we're gonna take uh okay i'll go ahead and unload that so a lot of the 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 best thing about coming here is that you can get you can get all these batteries, um, tons and tons of batteries. Uh, we've got some crates here. I can't pry them, so I'll have to smash them. A signal receiver, a light bulb, a light battery. Sometimes you got to be careful you damage items by doing that. Disposable battery, a screwdriver, electronic scrap, scrap metal, which you actually needed. More scrap metal. There's something I wanted to craft that took scrap metal. Super glue, also something I wanted to craft that took it. And these cases are firmly sealed. Is it worth breaking into? Probably not. Looks like it's just MP3 players. I've already got it. Uh, got those. But the super glue and the scrap metal. What was it that I wanted to craft? I don't even remember. It was under armor storage, I thought. The axe ring holster. So we've got one super glue. We've got the scrap metal. We just need leather patches. A tool of hammering. A tool of sewing of one or more. Which I should have on me. Okay, yeah, the axe ring holster. Combination of leather and a metal ring to hold an axe on your waist. So this would let me equip, this would let me wield a gun and have an axe equipped to my waist. That would be cool and very useful. I have no inventory space to grab any of this stuff. I'm going to have to come back. I'm actually going to have to come back. Unbelievable. What is that on the counter? Nothing, I guess. Um, anything over here? A bath, bathroom there. What's that there? Why is there a room off to the... Oh, Jesus. Uh, we'll get him on this table here. Ah, too late. Okay, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Okay. Whew. Zombie dogs, man. They, they, they catch up to you quick. We're a little injured. We're going to want to take a break here in a second. Let me... Okay, crawling zombie, no, uh, two zombie dogs. We are boned. Three zombie dogs, we're really boned. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay, we're out of here boys and girls. We're out of here, let's go. We took a hell of a beating right there. That was, I really thought that could have been it. Um, stop. Okay, we're going to come back. We're going to come back to this. We've got the mess kit, which I want. There's a couple other items I want. I definitely want to grab the batteries up there for the stuff that we could use. But we're going back to the solar car. I'm grabbing the backpack. And what is it? It's only 10 a.m., but... 
We cannot continue to keep searching. Uh, we're going to get damaged here. I didn't get the super glue or anything, so I can't work on that. I do have the MP3 player on. I'll go ahead and turn it off for now. Wood axe is still repaired. All right, let's pick a place we can rest for the day. I think this is safe here. Maybe. Actually, yes. Perfect. Okay, so we can go ahead and do a little bit of reading and then do a little bit of rest. Other than that, electronics sco store a big hit once I get back there, gas station. Um, perfect, perfect. And then I wanna try to make it to the antique store and then at some point we gotta try to make it out of here. That's gonna be the tricky part. That's <laughs> definitely gonna be a tricky part. Mm, subway station, bike shop, okay. So we'll leave it off here. Thank you all for joining me. Hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.